In the heart of the Sonoran Desert, where cactus and succulents reign supreme, a surprising secret grows in the wetlands of southern Arizona. A rare and endangered orchid, the Canelo Hills Ladies Tresses. Desert Botanical Garden has been studying how these rare and resilient flowers thrive in such an extreme environment and are working to revive their dwindling populations. The Canelo Hills Ladies Tresses is one of the most endangered orchids in the United States. It's only known from two populations, and in good years we've seen about 300 of these orchids, and in bad years with fewer orchids we've seen roughly 50. One of the biggest threats to this orchid population is habitat loss. The biggest threat to their survival is the decrease in wetlands in southern Arizona for a multitude of reasons. And because these habitats are decreasing, our job is to try to restore the habitat and then reintroduce these plants back out into the wild where they once existed. When we're surveying for these orchids, what we've noticed is that the two cienegas or wetlands where they do occur, they're open and clear of lots of encroaching woody vegetation, so trees and shrubs. Encroaching woody vegetation is an indicator that the landscape has not burned in a long time. So we're working together with the Nature Conservancy and the U.S. Forest Service to do controlled burns to remove this woody vegetation and open up the habitat. The orchid itself is probably only about 30 centimeters tall, and so if it's shaded out by surrounding vegetation, or if that vegetation uses a lot of hot water, that water is not available for the orchid and the habitat is degraded. So when we're doing some of these surveys, we're looking for ways that we can improve that habitat. Through conservation efforts, seed banking, and habitat restoration, our team of scientists are working to protect these rare species from climate change and habitat loss. Because these orchids are so cryptic, when we're looking for them, when we're trying to survey for them out in the wild, it's really difficult for us to find them. And the only period of time when we can actually find them is when they're in flower, which is only for a few weeks during the summertime. Now, what we've done is we've recently employed the use of scent detection dogs to help us locate some of these plants. In 2022, the garden started working with Canine Incentive, an organization whose work focuses primarily on using dogs for ecological scent detection of endangered plants and animals. With the help of two dogs, Circe and Muon, researchers were more easily able to find these rare orchids in the wild. When we took them out to the wild, within 15 minutes, they were able to find these orchids. And some of these orchids that they found weren't even in flower. They were finding orchids that were just emerging from the soil, which as humans with just using eyesight, we would never have been able to do ourselves. So once the dogs find the orchids, we will GPS tag them so that we know where to come back later for when we want to collect seeds for use in the seed bank and for propagation. Orchids rely on a symbiotic relationship with fungus for most or all of their life cycle, including seed germination. We've worked with the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center and the North American Orchid Conservation Center to collect roots from the Spiranthes deletescens orchid, and we've sent them to the Smithsonian lab where they've isolated this fungus. Now, with this fungus in culture, we can harvest seeds from the wild and grow the orchid seeds with the fungus so that we can reintroduce it into wetlands where the orchid is no longer found. So initially, when we first tried to grow these plants out, we weren't able to get the seeds to germinate for four to six months. But we recently devised a new method where we use pre-ripened seeds and we will actually get those to germinate within a couple of months. So that's been a pretty groundbreaking thing that we've been able to accomplish in the past year. As a result, garden researchers have been able to produce over 10,000 seedlings and another 800 that have been potted for continued growth in the greenhouse. Since we have been successful with the propagation of these orchids, our next step is to reintroduce them back out into the wild. And so we're currently at the stage where we've gotten them out of the jars and we have them currently growing in a soil media in the greenhouses. Now, once those plants are big enough that we feel that they can go back out in the wild, then our goal will be to take them back out there to see if they will thrive and survive out in the habitat. By studying the Canelo Hills Ladies Tresses native wetlands and unique adaptations, we gain insight into how we can help conserve this rare and endangered plant.